Much love into your world and another episode of Vitality Moments. Now, if you have been with us here on Vitality Moments, you have had already some experience. And for some of you, it was very nice to expand your own horizon of vitality. So today, what comes to me is uh, actually about how vital do you really feel? What is your vitality in your body, in your emotions, in your mind, in your connection with spirit and self, as in a higher self? If you were to look at it from one out of ten, where is your body? How vital do you feel? And again, out of ten, where is your emotions and your feelings? Are they just flat or do you feel the vitality in there? What about your mind? Are you creative? Is it constructive? Is it open? Or are you always running into the same direction? What about your spirit, your connection with spirit? Is it active? Is it vital? Or are you missing that interaction? So vitality can be often challenged or can be reduced. And I'm reminding, of, reminding myself of uh, the chi, the life force, which is part of vitality. What is your chi? How much force do you really have to live? And what happens if you get tense? What happens if you stress? What happens if you feel the effects of fear that is maybe in the air around you? What happens if you feel the heaviness and the density of this world in this pandemic? So how do you work with that? How do you take charge of your vitality and literally be the co-creator of your vitality moments? Well, these things take practice. They take vigilance and they take a bit of discipline. And this is not my favorite word either. But if we are not really using our gifts of sensitivity, of following what senses we have, what energetic imbalances we feel, if we don't put attention to, oh, I'm tense here and I feel heaviness in my tummy, this feels right and this feels off, then how are we going to work with it? And yes, we're living in a time where it's very important that we take charge. Charge of keeping our energy really free. Charge of keeping our energy light. And keeping these vitality moments. So there's quite a lot of tools that you can develop or that we can share with you to keep your vitality flowing at all time. And part of it is obviously do pay attention what pulls you down and find a way to release it. There is many ways of transmuting heavy energy, dense energy, or even tenseness and find what resonates. I often invite the fire dragons because they're my friends to come and transmute it and to burn it away. You might like the violet flame doing the same thing to transmute the tenseness, the density, and the heaviness. Vitality cannot thrive in heaviness, density, or tenseness. So it's really up to us how we choose these vital moments, how we choose to connect, 
how we choose to filter and shield ourselves so that our light, our vitality, our chi remains regardless of the external influences. And not only for the self, but for everything that's around us, connecting to the earth and the air and the water and the fire. So today, this Vitality Moments is a lot about fire, as it is about burning away what is around us that holds us down. It is time to be free. It is time for you to be that choice maker of your Vitality Moments. Now, if you like this, please write comments, and maybe in the next one I can take you through little ceremonies that take only a few minutes really to help you to stay into your vitality, to feed your chi and to be that choice maker in your world, not just for you, but for all around you and for this whole planet. So see you there. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. There is more to come. See you soon.